Yeah. Hello, Pramod. Hello, sir. Yeah, it's nice to see you here. Uh, okay. So before we start, uh, just introduce about uh, yourself. Uh, thanks for giving this wonderful opportunity to introduce myself, sir. I am Pramod Kumar Choudhury. I am from Odisha, but currently stay in Hyderabad, Prakashnagar. I did my graduation in BCA uh, from Varanpur University in the year of 2020-2020. Uh, that's all about me, sir. Okay, like you are a BCA graduate, right? Yes. Sir. So you are from Odisha. Yes. So why you came, why you came here, Hyderabad? Uh, to in Bhuvaneshwar, there is a lot of IT companies, na? Uh, but in the in that case, uh, there is a lot of opportunity here to come here today. Is it? Yes, yes, are you sure about it? Yes, sir. yes, sir. definitely. Good, good. That's good. So you are interested to work in Hyderabad. So, like, uh, tell me, like, for example, if you got a job here, good job here, okay. So, will you spend your time here, or you want to again go back to your Bhuvaneshwar? No, sir. I will try to get place here actually because there is a lot of opportunity. First thing, mm -hmm. and the uh, second one is this, uh, the the environment is so good here, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm I, I'm love to try uh, try another opportunity here. That's the reason behind. So you're not going to leave Hyderabad? Yes, sir. It's my age. Okay, that's fine. Right. All right. Uh, so anyway, we are also looking for the candidates those who are want to stay here for a long time. Uh, that's fine. So here you have mentioned that uh, actually you are familiar with Python and several other technologies also. Okay. So can you tell me fundamentally uh, why you have chosen to learn Python? Because sir, nowadays uh, in uh, nowadays it's a very, as you know it's a very uh, easy to learn. It's a less keyword, mm -hmm. and uh, it it is a powerful language compared to other languages. Uh, rest the rest of the thing uh, I have no about this. Thing. Did you ask anyone before, uh, like you know, start learning Python? Uh, like any uh, I, seniors? Actually, the thing is that I I was asked to my brother, mm -hmm. who is got uh, working at uh, Deloitte right now. He is a dev senior dev of engineer. Mm -hmm. He told me that uh, one day. Why are you not choosing Python? Because it's a, you, you can use, you can easy to learn and uh, you can understand easily. That's why I choose, sir. With the reference of my brother, I can, and now I choose Python. Okay, so That's before starting, uh, you have inquired your brother and finally you have joined. Yes, now sir. after completion of the course, what is your opinion? Whether your opinion is the same or you have changed your opinion? Yes, sir. My brother, I, I already tell that, uh, uh, for my brother has tell that good. He always me, Give a good, uh, so finally, good you are feeling that it is easy only. Yes, yes, sir. It's right. easy, and uh, yeah. When you be, you understand that time it's easy. When you don't understand, then it's a uh, complicated. So that means you understood. That's what. Yes, uh, yes, sir. Okay, that's nice. All right. Uh, so, any other language you know other than Python? Like, mm. have you studied maybe in your academics or something like? Mm. Not really, so But sir, I have uh, fundamentally know about uh, C something. Not uh, when I was. Uh, you covered C. So tell me, what are the differences that you find between C and Python? Uh, in between C and Python, uh, compared to there are number of uh, uh, lines there, like uh, in, 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 it's a what do we call it's a uh, as compared to Python, it's an interpreter. And that one is a compiler. Okay. So it's also less uh, syntax in Python and more in uh, C sir. Okay. That is the main reason, and uh, there is an uh, one con difference between it. when you want to print uh, print uh, data. That time we use uh, um, like a header file, header file. After that, uh, print dev scanner. But in Python, we can use only print. Okay. That is the main reason we I want to cho mm -hmm. choose in Python sir. Mm -hmm. So you find simplicity in that. Okay. Yes sir. Yes. Sir, now obviously. tell me, uh, like you know, uh, what are the uh, like you know, what are the similarities in both the things? Do you find any similarities? Just now you told differences, right? Mm -hmm. So, did you find any similarities between Python and C? Somewhere? No, sir. There is lot long, long. I think what you call difference more, sir. Not as uh, not as similar, sir. Okay, there are very less similar. Yes, yes, sir. Okay, right. Okay, so do you know the concept of pointers in C? You might be studying. Uh, might be so, but uh, right now I didn't. I call it to forget the. I call it to forget the information. Yes, so just to remind you, you have a for loop in Python, right? Yes, yes. Do you have for loop in C or not? Yes, 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 yes. Ah, this is one similar. The similarity thing. for loop. Yes, you have while loop. Also. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, what what else are not similar? For example, in Python, you got for loop and while loop. Okay. So what else uh, are not present, not existing in Python? Um, if so, do you know switch case in C? Ah, uh -huh. in C we got the switch case. Do you have switch in Python? Switch case. In I think 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 I think
Python is not there. It is not there. No, so no, that no. difference, right? Yes, yes, yes. So yes. you have in C switch, but in Python, in Python there is no switch case. Okay. Yes. Do you have two while loop in Python? Well, no, sir. No, no, right. sir. There is no. So that's what simple thing. For simple, simple while loop observations, right? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. that's what. Okay. So, but uh, what are the tasks that you can do with do while loop uh -huh. in C? Uh -huh. Can you do the same task with while loop in Python? Yes, sir. We, we can, sir. We can. Multiple times uh, we can use the loops of while loop. We can use. It. So, do you know the syntax of while loop? Um, yes, sir. I have. You're familiar. Yes, okay. sir. Yes. So, tell me when to use a for loop and when to use a while loop. Uh, when we uh, when we when we use uh, the number of iteration, uh, when we when I know that it's a number of use in iteration, that time we use for loop. Sir. Okay. Uh, when we we don't know the um, exact value of a iteration, we can use by loop. Sir. Okay. Right. For example, okay, you are busy. Yes. Now let me that. Uh, so I have given you a case like you know uh, I want to store your complete BCA marks. Okay. Sir. So assume that your degree is completed. Okay. Sir. Now I want to store your marks. Into one variable. Okay, sir. So yes, there yes. are three options are there. Yes, sir. One is list, second is tuple, third one is dictionary. So which data type you will prefer to store I your marks? I will prefer sir dictionary sir. Why? Because it have a key and value. So what? What is the advantage that you are going to get? Uh, when we want to put a subject like uh, I, I I I score a math forty five. So as a, as a key I put a name as a math. It's a string a string. And I put a value uh, as a, a number of integer. Okay. Now you assume that there is no option of dictionary. I have list and tuple. So which one you prefer? Uh, I will prefer tuple, sir. Why? Because it's a immutable. Mm -hmm. It cannot be changes. Uh -huh. Or uh, we can use the uh, multiple variables mm -hmm. or multiple data types, sir. That is the reason. Okay. So thank you. Good. So let's meet once again if possible. Okay. So thank you. Yes, sir. My pleasure, sir.